The year, 1897. The place, New Jersey. Two founders of Benton Dickinson and Company, Maxwell Benton and Fairleigh Dickinson, established it between New York and New Jersey in this place of the hospitalities. I say, what's all this then? Oh, it's a tea party, sir. A tea party? Why, how terribly British of you. Well, we may hate the king's living guts, sir, but we still enjoy a spot of tea now and then, eh? Hey, hey. Now, as you may have surmised, I am British. To the core, I'm afraid. Are you tired of taking it on the chin? Do you want to go the distance or maybe even land that knockout punch but don't know how? Oh, I, my grandson's pure eve. And as a British subject, I must admit I'm awfully fond of tea. And at this very moment, my palate is parched to the extreme. Well, you come to the right place, huh? We're having a tea party, you know. Here's the secret battle cry, General Sherman! Then it's yours, pal. You'll be me, and I'll be you. Better! What was that last minute, sir? Mulligatawny? Oh, yes, Mulligatawny. Do you have any tea? Oh, yes, sir. 342 chests of the finest tea in the colony. I don't want to go to the beach. I'm out of suntan lotion, and you know how easily I burn. Well, let's see. Uh, we'd see Luke Potchley, Warren Sun Guard, or Ted's Cutley Poker, the Warrior Guard, or my personal favorite, Quetzalcoatl, God of Creation, inventor of agriculture, and patron of learning. Oh, yeah, he sounds excellent. Call me Lucky Lindy. Looky here, I found another thermos of fuel. Well, finished, coach! Really? Yup, the job is done! What do you ask for? That's your great mall! I'll go fishing, uh-huh. That always calms me down. And um, maybe the broom? Right, right, the broom. Yes, I forgot about that. Oh, and a couple of the warts. Oh, yes, I almost forgot about the warts. Uh-oh. Good day.